part in this future. Not everyone will support the focus on nuclear and ministers insist Wales will benefit too from their plans for renewable energy. There's cash in their new strategy for a scheme to make green hydrogen fuel in Pembrokeshire, while ports along the South Wales coast can apply for funding to help them prepare for new floating wind farms offshore. It provides a clear signal um, from the UK government that they are serious about um, supporting um, floating offshore wind development in the Celtic Sea. Um, and through this, it will hopefully stimulate um, a lot of pu um, private investment. Ministers in Westminster were forced to update their energy strategy after losing to climate campaigners in court. Many environment groups argue today's plans still don't go far enough. I want to see ways that help the more than half the people in Wales that are presently struggling with fuel poverty to cut down on their fuel bills. And we can do that through energy efficiency. We can do that through giving them ways of heating their homes that are more efficient so it cuts down on their use of expensive fuel. This isn't close to enough to meet net zero. Securing energy supplies, cutting bills and emissions. The UK government's approach to this huge and complex task continues to split opinion.